I am beside myself about the DuPont dynasty heir. I'm talking about Robert Richards IV. Think about Simon Eyes, uh, Kevlar, Teflon. That should all ring a bell. It's all created or sold by DuPont. They're mega billionaires, and he's the heir, one of the heirs. Now, this is where it gets sticky. His little girl says that he rapes her. He admits it in court. He admits to it in court. But the judge, the Delaware judge, Judge Jan Jordan, lets him walk with straight probation, straight probation after he admits in court that he abused his then three-year-old little girl. I, I, I don't understand it. Uh, number one, Judge Jan Jordan needs to be thrown off the bench, okay? Number two, the DuPont heir, Robert H. Richard IV, needs to go to jail. But on this case, he admits that he rapes his three-year-old little girl. She says multiple times in their mansion, and he's walking free. I don't like it. I don't believe in rich man's justice. This is wrong. Nancy Grace feeling the way that many of us are about the, that DuPont rape case. You know, Christy, of course, is here. And I just want to also bring in Sonny Hostin from CNN, CNN legal analyst, amongst other things. I know, Sonny, that you've been digging into this and you have some new information for us. It's always great to see you, Sonny. Oh, great to see you, Joey. And I have been digging in to this because, as you know, I'm a former federal prosecutor, but especially, uh, you know, my, my specialty was child sex crimes. And Absolutely. I did find it very unusual that uh, a, a, a sexual predator um, who abused his own children uh, under the ages of five years old would be given straight probation. I want to disagree with Nancy. It wasn't straight probation. He was um, given rehabilitative treatment. So he was given sort of residential sex offender treatment as well as eight years of probation because I do have the sentencing order here. Um, and, and let me say this, this judge has gotten a lot of flack for a note on the sentencing order which says he will not, defendant will not fare well in a level five setting. Um, and as a mitigator, she says that he just has these mental health issues, significant treatment needs, and above all else, she felt that the treatment needs exceeded the need for punishment. And so that is behind the judge's reasoning. I've got to tell you, Joey, I've got to tell you, Christy, that is treatment generally reserved for drug offenders, low-level drug offenders. Yes. I have never seen a child sex uh, criminal defendant, an admitted rapist, be uh, just given probation. It is highly unusual. And, and Sonny, you know what really disturbs me most is what about this poor child? What is this saying to her about the validation of her pain and of what she's been exactly. through? It's basically saying, eh, you know, what he did to you really isn't that bad. And that just enrages me. And, and Sonny, as a former federal prosecutor, I mean, how do you feel about the sentence? From a defense attorney's perspective, even I'm outraged and, and, about it. And is there anything else that can be done? You know, I don't think that there's anything else that can be done. I am also outraged by this. But if you look at the sentencing order, this happened in 2007. We're all talking about it because his ex-wife now has sued him uh, for, for, for money because of, uh, of these allegations and because of, of his actions. So Thank I don't so think that there's anything that can be done other than the fact that he's going to have to pay some money. Because their money kept it out of the media. Thank you so much, Sonny Hostin. Great to see you, as always. Thanks.